sweet man, I love him so, so he's mean as can be. He's the kind of man, he's the kind of woman like me, a 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 woman like me.
Rick wants to hire me. He's at a new studio. Where is it? India. When? I don't remember what year. There's no year. How do you know there's a year for that? I think they say the 14th century, but... The 14th century was recently. No, but I don't know. That's, That's when the, the, the Mughals were ruling. Babur was in India. The 11th then. <laughs> it's definitely BC. <laughs> it's BC for sure. And I think it's Ayodhya. And Sri Lanka. Was and, born. And, and Sri Lanka. And I know that because they raised that temple. <laughs> they said that Ram was born there. And which I don't believe, but that's what they say. And Ayodhya is in the state of Uttar Pradesh. It's right there. Therefore, the story has to be true. It's probably based on as real as event as the Bible is based on. You, you want to know the whole story? Oh, because Ram's father had four wives. Three and wives. Three wives? Four sons. Four three sons, wives. three wives. Okay, I know the names of the sons, by the way. Kausalya. Yeah. No, that, that was, was the wife. Yeah. That's what I meant. So, but I, but we, Kausalya, which... Shumitra, and Kaike. And, uh, and Kaushalya's son was Ram. Sumitra's son was Lakshman. Uh, Kaike's son was Bharat. So impressed. Yes. And, and uh, Shatrugan, I think, was Lakshman's brother, which means he had to be um, Sumitra's son. Sita was Ram's wife. Right. And Sita, I know also, came... Sita's father was Janak. Sita has many names. Sita only being one of them. Yeah. Janaki. Janaki also. Janaki, Janaki also. Janaki. Janaki. Representing the RSS. And Bahish, Bahish, uh, I saw a play. Vedahi. Huh? Vedahi. Vedahi, Vedahi. I saw a play called Vedahi, right? Which I learned there was another name for Sita. Rama was about to be crowned by Dashrath as the king, and Kekai went to him, and uh, because she had got this, because she had done something really good, she, I think she had taken care of him when he was really sick, or something like that. Yes. And and so at that point he had said to her that. You have one boon. Anything you ask of me, I will do. And so she went and asked him to send Ram away for 14 years, thinking there was a long enough time that if you go away for 14 years, you're pretty much out of sight, out of mind. Rama, my son, today I wish to crown you king of Ayodhya, but my evil scheming wife Kaikai just reminded me of an ancient vow I made. To honor this vow, instead of crowning you king, I must banish you to the forest for 14 years. <coughs> Goodbye, dear boy. You are noble and good, the embodiment of righteousness, a brave warrior prince. Joy of heaven and earth, the ideal man. May the gods be with you. Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. That's what she asked for, and Dashrat was heartbroken. <laughs> but he, he given that given that all Indian men are true to their word, uh, he yes. had to, he had to do that. And didn't he die? And, uh, didn't he die? No, I don't think. What he died? He died eventually. Yeah. No, but all those, all those. Uh, uh, I don't think he died Ram right Leelas I've seen when I was a kid. He died right away? There's this big scene, very drama, dramatic. He's having a heart attack when his son is going away. I should assume he's I dying I don't think then. he's unwell. I do think something happens where he goes... He has gonna, a stroke. And he also has a huge issue, right? He's like ravaged by guilt because Ram was right. a good son. Right. And Ram, when he was told to go away, actually said he would. He, like, he didn't create any problems. He didn't kind of say, why? He just kind of said, if that is your wish, father, I shall go. Yeah. No, no, and he went. And Sita said, if you go, I go. No, Sita. The forest is beset by Rakshasa demons. They harass our wise men and desecrate their ritual fires. I must fight them alone. But Rama, a woman's place is next to her husband. I will accept any hardship. I cannot live without you. 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 I cannot live without you.
hate to think what might have been if we had never met. Why should I suppose that this could be? The weary days, the lonely nights are easy to forget. Since I am here and you are here with me, here we are, you and I. Let the world hurry by. Even while I waited, somehow, dear, I knew you'd find. It's only a six-month contract. I'll be back before you know it. Ravana was the evil king of Lanka. And he just stole Sita. But he was an incredibly learned man. From what I understand, Ravana was... Actually, the only bad thing he seems to have done is capture Sita, like kidnap Sita, which is kind of interesting because, uh, like, everything else about him seems to be like he's this really learned guy. He mm -hmm. knows all these weapons. He prays mm -hmm. to the right gods, I guess. So all this stuff, and he's like this good king, except that over time, we've been led to believe more and more that he's this complete... Mm -hmm. Like, he's like Mogambo. Mm -hmm. Almost, you know, like... Mm -hmm. That's true, he lived on an island also. He lived on an island. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He was a devoted Shiva. Yeah, um, Shiva, Shiva Bhakta. Shiva Bhakta, and he plays... All these instruments? Veena with his intestines, I think, for Shiva. With his intestines? Yeah. Oh, that's for, awesome, for, I didn't know that. For Shiva. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's this whole thing about how devoted a fan wow. he was, and uh, he he's asking Lord Shiva for for some wish, oh, and you know, cool. he is basically playing Veena with his intestines, so... so it might, it's might hard to feel someone other in battle, because at this point, what is pain to a man right, who right, plays right. the Veena on his right. intestines? No, nothing much. What I'm really impressed is, you know, that he was a king of Sri Lanka. Oh, no, he was a king of Lanka. Huge. Oh, well, it was Lanka. Well, some people it was would... Ceylon. It's the same country, I think. Well, the point is, that's what we think. They build a bridge. The bridge or... still exists, so NASA images say... Really? Yeah, oh, NASA? Whatever. NASA said all the satellites. <laughs> it must be true then. Distance between... <laughs> between <laughs> sorry, when they were on the moon. <laughs> Isn't that Sarupnakha's story? Sarupnakha, right? So, 
Have you seen Rama's wife Sita? She is the most beautiful woman in the world. Her skin is fair like the lotus blossom. Her eyes are like lotus pools. Her hands are like um, lotuses. Her breasts like big, round, firm, juicy lotuses. Make Sita your wife, Ravana. Steal her from Rama. Don't do it, master. I'll hear no arguments from you, Maricha. You must help me at once. Transform yourself into a beautiful golden deer to distract Rama. While Sita is unguarded, I'll grab her. Sita will be mine. <laughs> What a beautiful golden deer. Oh Rama, won't you capture it for me? I don't know Sita. It could be a trick. Oh Rama, please. All right Sita. You ask for so little and give me so much, but promise you won't leave the hut while I'm gone. The forest is dangerous. I promise. Oh Rama, I love you. I love you, Sita. Love was blind to me, now it's kind to me. Love has opened my eyes. Since it came to me, life's a game to me. With a sweet as surprise, I never knew how good it was to be a slave to one who means the world to me. I love that man from the start. And way down deep in his heart I know he loves me Heaven knows why And when he tells me He can't live without me What wouldn't I do for that man? He's not an angel or saint And what's the odds if he ain't? With all his faults I know he'll get by I'll be so true to him, he'll never doubt me. What wouldn't I do for that man? For when he let me lean my, my weary head on his shoulder, I close my eyes right there and wish I never grow older. his troubles my own I love that man as nobody can I'm just no good when his arms are above me what wouldn't I do for that man oh what wouldn't I do for that man my own. I love that man better than I do myself. I 
I'm just no good when his arms are about me. What couldn't I do for that man? Oh, there's not a thing I wouldn't do for my man. That dog. But you know what Sita does then? How she actually is able to tell these people where she she drops her jewelry along the way, right? Right. And that's how they were able to find it. Just, it, it went all the way up to Lanka. Thousands how many of times miles. did she drop the jewelry? <laughs> she she had a lot of jewelry in the forest. <laughs> she lost jewelry. I mean, no. She remember she's not wearing any jewelry because she left everything before right. she left Ayodhya and she came. Oh, with, she left everything. Yeah, she did. Right. She just came in her oh, sannyasi clothes. Don't challenge these stories. She's gone. I told her not to leave the hut. Oh, how will I ever find her? Sita! Sita! Oh, Sita, what has become of you? Actually, the origins of Hanuman, all these demons were attacking the earth, and supposedly all the gods and everyone went to Vishnu and said that, please help us, please help us. So Vishnu said that he was going to be born on earth as Ram. But he was born as Krishna also. This is very confusing That's now. That's thus avatar, ten, ten incarnations. Ten. So uh, the tenth one, of course, is the last one. Not come yet, supposedly. Um, so anyway, he said that what we'll do is Shiva will be born as someone who helps me. So Shiva was actually, Hanuman is the incarnation of Shiva. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah. And... Uh, so Hanuman was actually born with the sole purpose of eventually meeting up with Ram and helping him. Like that was the, the reason for his birth. I will help you. Who are you? I am Hanuman, the monkey of warrior, son of the wind. I am Rama, Prince of Ayodhya. Let us be allies. I shall be your servant forever. Now go, find Sita. It's me. Dave, where are you? Trivandrum, silly. At home. You have a home phone? Of course. You've been gone a month and you never emailed me your phone number. I didn't? Well, I have some good news. They've extended my contract another year. What? Another year? You said you'd be back in six months. But I like it here. What about me? What about Lexi? What about our apartment? Uh... What about us? Uh... <laughs> Don't cry, Nina. <laughs> I love you. You could come here. She sits under a tree. And she weeps. And, all and these thinks of Ram. <laughs> and prays to Ram. And all these evil people, you know, all these movies and all these shows we've seen and all these evil people come and sort of scare her and she prays to Ram. But I think the thing is that, but, no, but the thing is that those, the women, whatever, the women, demon, whatever, who are supposed to protect her are amazed by her devotion. Devotion, devotion to Ram. And so Ravan also comes there and says, what can Ram do for you, blah, blah, blah. That I can't. That I can't, but she's still, Ram will come here and you still have one last chance because once he comes here, you know, your ass is grass. <laughs> I love you, Sita. You must be my wife. Never. I love only Rama. I am the chaste and virtuous wife of another man. I belong to Rama as the rays belong to the sun. 
give me back to Rama, or you shall soon hear his mighty bow that resounds like Indra's thunderbolt. The more a man speaks sweetly to a woman, the more she insults him. You have two months to decide, lovely lady. Then you shall share my bed. If you do not marry me, my Rakshasas will slaughter you for my breakfast. Your ugly yellow eyes should fall out of your head as you stare at me so lustfully, Ravana. The only reason I do not reduce you to ashes with my own blazing power is because Rama has not ordered me to do so. Sleeping in bed. If you were peeping, you'd find that I'm weeping instead. My loving daddy left his baby again. Said he'd come back, but he forgot to say when. Night after night, I'm crying. Daddy, won't you please come home? Daddy, won't you please come home? I'm sorry. Awesome. No one can fill a vacant chair Home isn't home when you're not there No need to know the door is open for you Read daddy, even the clock keeps ticking Daddy, won't you please come home Daddy, do you have to roam so very long Yes, but I'm liable to weaken Daddy, Daddy, won't you please come She also made her own share of mistakes. In fact, she should have just gone back with Hanuman. The whole idea of my man, my man has to come to save me. It's like, oh, give her one little tight thing. Jump on the monkey's back. Go back. Chill out. Hundreds will be fine, okay? Is it possible she didn't trust the monkey altogether? It is possible. It is possible that she no, didn't trust the monkey. I, I think she absolutely trusted the monkey. But she wanted her man to come. But she wanted her man. Okay, so that's the whole thing. It's like, you got to prove it to me, baby. But not only that, <laughs> no, but she but also she wanted... Fight she for me. But she... Sorry, go ahead. No, but she also wanted the evil king to be defeated. I think that was the right, thing that my right. husband should come and actually teach us okay, why don't you go back so that the evil king doesn't have a hostage and then do it. But it was almost like she's trying to glorify Ram through this whole process, you know, like like my man will come and he is a, he's capable of this and he is virtuous and he will kill Ravan. And... So, so this anyway, is a bloodthirsty was... woman.
But the question is, were they monkeys? Because they actually... They could fly. Not monkeys, they're... Um, from what I understand, it's different from monkeys, right? I mean, they are... Like, from what I understand, when I was young, there were monkeys were one kind of, one species, and then the Vanners were actually another species. They were half man, half monkey. Okay, because they have tails, though. Correct, but they're, they're not, like, yeah. Yeah, I definitely think the tail and the... <laughs> they were half... They were definitely half monkey, if not more. Yeah, but that's what the army was, because otherwise they were these, these two brothers. They didn't have any the army. two brothers and then all of Sugreev's big army, army all the... Right. All the Vanar, the Vanar Sena. The Vanar Sena, right. Hanuman, assemble the monkey warriors. We shall cross the sea to Lanka and rescue Sita. Yes, my lord. We march at once. Don't stand outside there. Come on in here. I just had a sort of feeling this morning. Something good was gonna happen today. Now there comes a sound without any warning. I just know it's good luck coming my way. Goodness gracious, can it be someone coming back to me? Who's that knocking at my door? I've been waiting oh so long I'll just die if I'm wrong Who's that knocking at my door? I know it can't be the mailman, the coal man, the ice man They've been here today Can't be the grocer, the butcher, the baker They don't knock that way If my sweetie's there outside My arms and the hall are open wide Who's that knocking at my door? <laughs> Like a familiar knock Who's that knocking at my door? I know it can't be the milkman, the gas man, the bread man Who always collects I hope that it isn't that sort of an egg man Who writes out those checks If it's my sweet you to be Gonna lock him in, lose the key Who's that knocking at my door? Dave! Dave! We're in India. Uh, no kissing in public. Let me take your bag. Here you are. 
Good night. Later, I know what he did. What did he do when he saw her in Lanka? Hug her and kiss her. No, I don't yeah. think no, so. No, I don't think so. She, he was very cold. Why was he cold to Sita? Actually, I don't, to be honest with you, I'm very shaky on this point. I don't know what, what he actually did. You can did. make it up. You have lived in another man's house, so you are unfit to be my wife. What? I have done my duty in rescuing you from the enemy and avenging the insult to myself. I have terrible suspicions about your character and conduct. Ravana was aware of your beauty. He cannot have kept you in his house for so long without touching you. The very sight of you is painful. You are free to go wherever you want. I have no more use for you, Sita. If I had known this, I would have killed myself before and spared you this war. Build me a funeral pyre. I cannot bear to live. Despite my virtues, my husband has rejected me. He's obviously doubting her, um, her pureness. I find the whole pureness thing really odd. I find it really she weird that nobody is commending Ravan for not forcibly... I mean, I know, I know we shouldn't commend yeah, somebody for that. What did we rape Yeah, her? but in terms of villains, right? Yeah. I mean, we expect villains to be villainous. Yeah. This is a guy that's like, if you don't come to me willingly, I will not touch you. Right. I will not force you in my house. Right. I will not force myself on you. Well, he never had sex with her, did he? No, yeah, as, no. As, as Sita proved over and over again. Uh, by fire, yeah. trial of fire. Yeah. <laughs> Must you be mean to me? 
Oh, gee, honey, it seems to me you love to see me crying. Please tell me why I stay at home each night when you say you'll phone. You don't, and I'm left alone just singing the blues and sighing. You treat me coldly each day in the year. What you're doing to me Please tell me why You're so mean to me That's all And he's still not convinced It seemed like um, After she went through the trial by fire I mean it's almost like No but I thought he was convinced He, he then It was peer pressure Later with the washerman. Yeah, because the washerman. Yeah, the, yeah, because he was convinced. It wasn't like he doubted it. He kind of was like, "Okay, you are pure." And I think he did hug her, and then flowers fell from the heavens or something. Whoops! I guess you were pure after all. Uh, will you forgive me, Sita? Of course, Rama. I live only for you. Hey, they want me to attend this meeting so much, they're gonna fly me all the way to New York. Five days, all expenses paid. That's great. It'll be fun for you. <sighs> See you next week. No, 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 it's a flying chariot somehow. The gods sent a chariot. I don't know, something about I remember Japanese being strained. I finding it, I'm fi I found it to be totally cool. It was like the world's first airplane or something. It was like the first, like they actually flew back. I don't think it was on, the, on a bird. Was it on a bird? I think it was actually a flying thing of some kind. They were on a carpet like Aladdin. <laughs> no, no, it was like an elaborate structure. I remember what it was. That's what he came back on, the flying chariot. Ushpaka Vimanam. That was one of the Air India jumbo jets also. Correct. And there's a right? movie, a silent movie. Push that was... yeah. But that's what I mean. It was like this thing. It wasn't Push a bird. Was this... Yeah. Right. I guess what is happening, the 14 years were finishing off, so they had to find a quick way to get back. If you want the 
a rainbow, then you must have a rain. So if your lucky star deserts you, and if shadows fall, even though it hurts you, laugh through it all. Be a cheerful loser, you have the world to gain. If you want the rainbow, why you just must have the rain.
Rama, I'm pregnant. That's wonderful, darling. Maybe they joined the Mile High Club yeah, on, the on the Pushpak Viman. Like <laughs> <I, laughs> we don't know exactly when she got pregnant. Very soon thereafter, which is why it's conceivable that someone could argue that love that that she wasn't pregnant because of Ram. But I think it was Ram. Blasphemy! It is Ram. Yeah. Sunday. Sali. Badmash. I'm not like Rama, who will take a woman who slept in another man's house. No, but that happens with the Dhobi story. Oh, that story. happens with Dhobi. Yeah, There's a Dhobi story. Yeah. You know the Dhobi, the the right. Yeah, the the Dhobi the says that. Yeah. That it's some one the Dhobi's wife. Wife is. Is with somebody, somebody else, else, and when she comes back, he goes, "What do you think? I'm Ram." I'm like to, Rama. To take to take somebody back right. in the house after she's been. You know the Dhobi man? is right. He's a washerman. Right? Wash. And, and when the news of that hits Ram, Ram says, "I cannot rule." I cannot rule if my subjects don't respect me. Right. right. And so you'll have to. Actually, that's when he banishes. <laughs> Sorry, that's when he banishes Banish. her. Right. Uh, say, Sita, would you like to take a chip? But we just got here. Yeah, great. Get packing. Brother Lakshman, my wife's dubious reputation casts doubt upon my own. You must drive Sita to the forest and abandon her there. I cannot have her in my kingdom. I think basically, as a king, he had to sort of do. If if the common man was doing that to their wife, then why would the king treat his wife any differently? Kind of a thing. like I felt he let her go not because he thought she was impure, but because he said that to be a king he needs the respect of his subjects, right? And he can't be considered. Well, I don't think he let her go. I she felt was that he always had this element of doubt. I mean, it. It coupled with, of course, you know his his virtue that everybody spoke of, and you know that he kept his word to his dad and then his his subjects, his 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 kingdom. But I felt like he always had this this doubt that she might not be pure. Paulie, what have I gone? I don't 
Make my troubles double with his worries when surely I ain't deserving of none. Moan and low, my sweet man is gonna go when he goes. Oh, see, he's a man and he's a woman just like me. must have committed a terrible sin in a previous life to deserve such suffering. Were I not carrying Rama's son, I would throw myself into the river. She's always shown to be pregnant. Uh, in Afterward, after, after, come back. after No, when she's banished and she's gone into the right. forest again. And, you know, there she meets that teacher. Valmiki. Valmiki, <laughs> sorry. So that's how Valmiki wrote the Ramayana because Sita told the story to him. Anyway, so Love and Kush were, or Love and Kush were born to Sita in the forest. And 
were actually taught by Valmiki, who taught them how to sing all these songs praising Ram. Love, Kush, let us sing the praises of Ram. Rama's great, Rama's good, Rama does what Rama should. Rama's just, Rama's right, Rama is a guiding light. Perfect man, perfect son, Rama's loved by everyone. Always right, never wrong, we praise Rama in this song. Sing his love, sing his praise, Rama sent his life a blaze. Got a hole, kick her out, he will lay his people's doubt. Rama's wise, Rama's just, Rama does what Rama must. Duty first, see the last, Rama's reign is unsurpassed. Rama's great, Rama's good, Rama does what Rama should. Rama's just, Rama's right, Rama is a guiding light. Perfect man, perfect son, Rama's loved by everyone. Always right, never wrong, we praise Rama in this song. Take me back, please, please, please. I'll do anything, please. If you're a girlfriend who has been treated really badly by like her ex or by her current boyfriend or whatever, and uh, and she kept saying, no, every day I'm going to make sure I cook for him and send him a hot lunch at noon. Aren't you going to turn around and be like, listen, he doesn't like you, he doesn't talk to you. You've got to move on. Something's wrong, Okay. Sita's doing this puja every day. I mean, I feel, I feel, see, I feel once again with this whole good, good and bad thing that we always want people to be either all good or all bad. I think Sita also has got her own issues. Like she didn't go back with Hanuman. She could have saved hundreds and thousands of people from being killed. Monkey especially. Yeah, what about animal rights? And uh, and then she like, she prayed for this guy every day. Come on. But also at that point of time, it was just that unconditional love, you know, for her, it, she was like, okay, I think I think this is me. this is the part of the female perspective that I disagree with, because it's like, then we can say, oh yeah, because she loved him, so she did this. You know, it's like, yeah, but she shouldn't love someone who doesn't treat her. Who right. Treats you so badly. Okay, that's her mistake. That's hence unconditional love. You went away. I left. We broke the ties that bind I wanted to forget you And leave the past behind Still the magic of the night I met you Seems to stay forever in my mind The sky was blue and high above The moon was new and so was love this eager heart of mine was singing, Love of where can you be? You came at last, love had its day. That day is past, you've gone away. This aching heart of mine is singing, Love of come back to me when I remember every
is blue, night is cold, moon is new, but love is old, and while I'm waiting here, this heart of mine is singing, love will come back to me. That's all. And when Ram was in the forest, he heard these two boys singing. He didn't know who they were, but he came up and he was just like, who are they, who are you? And that's when he finds out that uh, Sita's there and those are his children. My sons! Father? Return to Ayodhya Palace to rule with me for eternity. But then, he wants to take Lava and Kush back, but he's still hesitant about taking her back. Sita, well, yes, of course, Sita. Uh, all Sita has to do is prove her purity again. Another trial by fire, perhaps. Or we could try trial by water. You know, see if she sinks or floats. If she sinks, she's pure. If she floats... No, wait. If she floats, she's pure. If she and, sinks... And uh, he asked her to prove her purity one more time, I think. No, actually, I don't know about whether he asked her or whatever, but she says... I shall prove my purity to you. If I have always been true to Rama, if I have never thought of another man, if I am completely pure in body and soul, then may Mother Earth take me back into her womb. Oh, 
Mr. Parson, stand by. Don't leave me now. I've got a feeling I'm falling and how falling. 